Good morning and welcome to day two of our spring break adventure. We are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we found sun. Drive into the Smoky Mountains. So this is a train millipede and they are super cool because they all actually glow under UV light. So we'll hold on to this and see if I can get video of that a little later. Look what we found. This is a lingering funnel trap. Someone else is bugging out here. The trap is supposed to re resemble the trunk of a tree and when beetles or insects come and fly on it, it, they hit the funnels and they fall into the collection cup below. This is a mayfly. One of the defining characteristics of mayflies is that they have three long tails. You notice how flat he is? This helps him to hold on to the rock when there are fast moving currents. These are stoneflies. You can tell because they have two tails. This is a caddisfly larva. It kind of just looks like a moving twig. But that's because it's a case bearer. It forms its case out of sticks and leaves and it will carry it around it with it as protection. In this small location, I have found Ephemeroptera, mayflies, Plecoptera, stoneflies, and Trichoptera, caddisflies. There's an index called the EPT index. Ephemeroptera, Plecoptera, and Trichoptera are all sensitive organisms. So when there's a high diversity of these three orders, it's an indicator that the water quality is good. This is one healthy stream. This just looks like a worm, but it's actually a fly larva. This is a crane fly larva, and it is fully aquatic. These are shredders, and so what they will do is they shred leaves and help decompose organic items that fall in the stream. Hey boyfriend. Hey what? So where are we going to eat? 
the beacon in. How excited are you? Pretty excited. Is there a reason? I ate here with a Miss America contestant years ago. Ooh. Yeah, it was a, a cousin of a friend of mine and it was pretty awesome. So, we're really excited? Yeah. And the atmosphere is fun. Uh, the guys used to yell across the kitchen when you place your order. You just walk in line, place your order, and they would yell that order into the kitchen. And amazingly, you always got the right food. I don't know how they did it. <laughs> very, very cool. Well, that's the beacon. Heading that way now. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Well, we just had dinner in Seagan, and I gotta say it was an experience. Um, a lot of fried food, a lot of french fries, and a lot of onion rings. Um, it was good fun. It has gotten pretty dark here, probably a little earlier than I probably realized it was going to get dark, but um, we're probably done collecting for the day, you think? Probably. Probably done collecting for the day, but we did have a pretty good day with the uh, aquatics and pulling apart those logs, found those millipedes, so that was pretty cool. We are heading over to Athens, Georgia, where we're probably going to stay the night there. So you see here we have a millipede that actually glows under UV light. Check it out. So here we have two different species of millipedes. They look very similar, but one of them glows under black light. Check that out. So we walk into our room that we just paid for and check this bed out. It's like we're royalty. Thanks for coming and watching our second day of our little adventure and we hope to see you tomorrow for when we do a lot of collecting, hopefully. Hopefully you spend a lot of time in the Chattahoochee National Forest. So, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>